Hi, this is Jacob from the Azure portal. Today I would like to show you how we can customize your dashboard using the tile gallery. So I'm now in my uh, jg09.net dashboard, which is created specifically for my blog. I have multiple dashboards here. You can check the previous video about uh, adding a dashboard and sharing it. So I'm on the dashboard and I can click right here and say customize. And on the left hand side, I have tile gallery. So here I have the drop down. And with this drop down, I can find different uh, tiles I can add here. So for example, if I choose type here, and I can choose the type of the apps I want to add. So I will choose app services because my web app is app service and it's called JG09. And here I have a tiles uh, related to my blog website. So let's say I want to add a CPU percentage. So I'll just drag this tile here and I have my CPU on my dashboard. I'll make it bigger and I will also choose data from last week because by default it's only past hour. I'll click OK. And now you can see that it aligns with the number of requests I had here before. Another way you can filter tiles is by search. So for example, here I can say JG09 and I can hit enter. And it found JG09 application insights, JG09 app service, my storage account, blog. You know, I can I can choose storage account and these are the different tiles for my storage account. So let's say, let's see how many requests I have on my storage account. Uh, I can drop it here. I have uh, another chart, no data because I have nothing on my storage. So actually th this won't be useful. I can try to pin something from uh, maybe my application insights. Let's say alert rules or performance timeline. Here it is. Uh, I can also filter by the resource group. So I remember that my blog is in the resource group called Default Web West US. And here I have all my other apps in this resource group. So I will choose J09. And again, here I have my tiles. So let's say I can drag the estimated spend here. And uh, Last way how we can filter the tiles is by tags. So I configure the tag for my web app. Uh, I have a tag blog, which is for my web app and for application insights regarding to my blog. And here I can choose, you see there's app insights and website. So I click website and I have my tiles for, for my blog. But you can you need to configure the tags before. So this is how you can add the tiles to your dashboard using the tile gallery. If you have any questions or suggestions about the Azure portal, please tweet me at Jacob Jedrushek or email me. You can find my email at my blog, jg09.net.